Right, this is called Harvest Festival. It was now that time of year when, as a child, Sarah used to attend Harvest Festival. The altar of the church was piled high with fruit and vegetables. Happy russet apples, sour oranges, pumpkins which never tasted of anything. Since this was an urban parish, people brought along other goods too. Tins of spam and salmon, ham sweating in greaseproof paper, bright yellow cheese, pockets, pockets of sugar bursting open. The congregation would sing, we plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. As the paraffin heaters warmed up the space, an aroma of spoilt meat and browning fruit floated on the air. It was the first time she had learnt to connect ripeness with rot. Indeed, the year was on the turn. Looking out of the window, Sarah had seen the swallows wheeling and gliding by. There they perched on the telephone lines, ready to fly south. They were lucky, Sarah thought. Wouldn't she give to fly with them to the land where lemons grew, to the houses warming in the sun, to a place where happiness was easy? But as it was, the only birds that seemed to overwinter here were large black ones. Kindness of ravens, a murder of crows. That was all a long time ago. Now Sarah knew that people ripened too and rotted, perhaps. She turned to the mirror and recognised that she was past her best. In the corner of the mirror, there was something dark. She turned back to the room and saw that an enormous black bird, a covid of some kind, was perched on the edge of her sofa in the fading light. He was almost six foot high, glossy with a black beak that clapped unnervingly. Sarah was afraid. She longed to know if he could talk. As it turned out, though, he could sing. He fixed her with his beady eye, sharpened his beak, stuck out his black tongue and began his incantation. Listen, sweetheart, hear me well. Winter's not our passing bell. Our bones, our beak, our feathers all may rot and stink beneath the wall, but something like me lives and breathes while faltering sunlight stirs the leaves. And know that, though I may be gone, pleasures like mine will still live on. And though you fall into the seer, another Sarah will be here. It's a sort of a mixed media thing. You notice that in a bit of it, I sing rather badly. And there's some poetry as well at the end of it. And it's looking back at the past, my own past, uh, you know, with Harvest Festival traditions and thinking about the future of that and thinking about how you can reconcile natural decay and see it as a positive thing. Well, I hope you enjoy these stories. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.